Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's provide solution. Okay. Now we have x plus three to the power of six, which equal to thirty two to the power of six. <clears throat> right? This can be written as x plus three to the power of 6, then minus 2 to the power of 6, which equal to a 0, okay? Down. x plus 3 to the power of 3 times 2, then minus 2 to the power of 3 times 2, which equal to 0, okay? Now, this will provide x to the power of 3 cube then squared okay minus 2 to the power 3 squared which equal to 0 okay this one will bring the formula which says that a squared minus b squared which equal to a minus b a plus B okay now this can be a and this one can be e can be B okay now this will provide okay x plus 3 to the power of 3 okay then minus 2 to the power of 3 okay then times x to the power of plus a 3 to the power of 3 minus here will be equal to 2 to the power of 3 which equal to 0 right and this one gives another formula which says that a to the power of 3 okay then minus b to the power of 3 which equal to a minus b okay times a squared plus b squared then plus a a b right this one is going to replace this number we have to get okay x plus 3 okay this is is a then minus b which is equal to 2 right our a is equal to this one and our b is equal to this one then times a squared is equal to x plus 3 squared plus 2 squared plus ab is equal to x plus 3 times z 2. Right, okay? And then don't forget that we have another here, okay? Which is this is for case one. Let us write this is a case one. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And for case two, we have this one x plus three to the power of three plus two to the power of three, which brings a <coughs> plus b power 3 power 3 which is equal to a plus b okay times a squared plus b squared minus a b okay this will provide x plus 3 okay this one will provide x plus 3 then plus 2 okay then times x plus 3 squared, okay? Then plus 2 squared. Then here will be equal to minus 2x plus 3, okay? <clears throat> As this one will be equal to case 2, okay? Then each case we are going to equals to zero right then for case one
for case one, we have x plus 3 minus 2 times x plus 3 squared plus 2. Let's copy what we have. Okay, for case one, we have x plus 3, then minus 2, okay, times bracket x plus 3 squared plus 2 squared plus x plus 3 times 2. Okay, which equal to zero, right? This will provide here x plus one times x plus three squared plus four, okay, plus two x plus three, which equal to zero, right? This will be equal to x plus one. Then this will provide x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 4, okay, then plus 2x plus 6, which equal to 0, right? This will provide x plus 1, okay, x squared plus, here we have positive 6x and D. this one will provide 8x, okay, and then here we have 13 plus a 6 is equal to plus 19, which equal to a 0, right? So, our x1 here will be equal to negative 1 due to x plus 1, which equal to 0, and then our x1 will be equal to negative 1, okay? Now, we are going to still main with x squared, plus 8x plus 19, which equal to, which equal to a zero, right? To mean that this is a quadratic equation, we have to use this, a, we have a which is equal to one, okay? We have b which is equal to eight, and c which equal to a 19, right? Okay, then, our x here will be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac over 2a. This will bring our x will be equal to negative b, which is equal to, here we have 8, okay, right? Then we'll be equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of b squared is equal to 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times z a 19 over 2 times 1 okay our x here will be equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of a 64 minus 4 times 19 this is equal to 76 okay then over the 2, right? Then our x here will be equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus, minus 76. This is, this is equal to negative 12 over the 2, okay? Then our x here will be equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times 4 times 3, okay? Then over a 2. <coughs> right. Our x here will be equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of 4. This is equal to a 2. Then square root of negative 1 is equal to i square root of a 3 over a 2. By factorizing, our x here will be equal to negative 4 plus or minus i square root of a 3, okay? To mean that our x2 here will be equal to negative 4 plus i square root of 3, okay? 
then our x3 here will be equal to negative 4 minus i square root of 3. So, for case 2, case 2, which is, for case 2 we have x, okay, plus a 3, plus a 2, right, then times, okay, x plus 3 squared, right, mm -hmm. then, then for our case 2, here we will be equal to x then plus a 5, okay, times x plus 3 squared then plus 4 minus 2x, okay, then minus a 6, okay, which equal to a 0, right? This will provide x plus a 5, okay, then times x, okay, x plus 6x plus 9, then plus 4, minus 2x, then minus 6, okay, which equal to a 0, right? This will provide x plus a 5, then you have half squared, x squared, 6x, and then minus this one, we will get negative plus 4x, okay? And then here we have 13 minus, 13 minus 6, this is equal to plus 7, right, which equal to 0. Right, then our x4 here will be equal to a negative 5, okay, due to x plus 5 equal to 0, then our x here will be equal to negative 5, to mean that this is our x4, right, then we have x squared plus 4x plus 7, which equal to a 0, right, then our a will be equal to 1, our b will be equal to 4, and our c is equal to 7. Then, this will provide x, which equal to negative b plus or minus square root of, okay, square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, right? Then, here, our x will be equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of, Okay, b squared, which is equal to 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times z, 7 over 2 times 1. Right, then our x here will be equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16, then minus 28, then over 2. Right, then our x here will be equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of negative 12 over a 2, right? Then here our x will be equal to negative 4 plus or minus, this is equal to 2i two square root of 3, okay? Then over a 2. By factorization, a x will be equal to negative 2 plus or minus i square root of 3. Okay? Then our x, 5 here will be equal to negative 2 plus i square root of 3. And x, 6 will be equal to negative 2 minus i square root of 3. Okay? Then our solution state, right? Our solution, solution state will be equal to 
x1 equal to negative 1, right? x2 will be equal to, then our x3 is equal to negative 4 plus i square root of a 3. Our x4 equal to negative 4 minus i square root of a 3, okay? And our x5 equal to negative 2 plus i square root of 3 and x6 which is equal to negative 2 minus i square root of 3. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe, please. See you next time.